guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Hatter Madigan, Ghost in the Hat Box by Frank Bador and Adrian Kress. This is a uh, mid-grade J-fiction novel. It is the prequel to the Looking Glass Wars novels and the Hatter M graphic novels, which are both by Frank Bador. And these are reimaginings of Alice in Wonderland, where the Mad Hatter is a royal bodyguard in charge of protecting Princess Alice. And the hat is kind of their main weapon, and they use imagination in a way that's kind of similar to magic, but not quite. And I really love this look at Wonderland. It's a lot more, I think, grown up, but it's still very enjoyable for kids, I think, which is good because it's a kid's book. Um, but it's also really good, so even if you're an adult or teen, you should check it out. So this book is Hatter going to school at the Millinery Academy to learn how to be a bodyguard. Um, at first he wants to be a spy. This is where the people of Wonderland learn how to be part of the military. Um, and they get to make their own hats, which use caterpillar thre thread, which is imbued with imagination. And like I said, it kind of works like magic. So it's really interesting. And they do make their own hats and clothes and weapons, which is cool. But they also have to learn how to use them and learn the discipline and military st strategy and stuff. So I love this whole like school aspect of it and like getting to see how they learn it and getting to see more of Wonderland. When the book starts off, Hatter and his brother Dalton have grown up at the academy. Their parents disappeared when they were young. And so the tutors at the school kind of took them in and they've been being raised by like the cooks and the servants. So when Hatter finally gets to start the school, he's so excited and he kind of has some fame going for him at the school because his brother Dalton has just graduated and is already the Queen's Royal Bodyguard. Like big deal stuff. That combined with everybody having heard stories about his parents means that like everybody knows Hatter at the school and so right away he kind of stands out and he makes friends with Rhodes and this very elite society at the school called the Wellingtons. Except that Rhodes is very much a bully and part of this book is Hatter kind of having to decide when to stand up for people or when to go with the crowd and deal with bullying. And then there is this other group, Astra, Caldonia, and Newton, who are misfits. Newton's blind. Astra is from this family that has never graduated from the actual school. They are kind of seen as out there and weird. So she doesn't quite fit in. She's always questioning everything. She doesn't just accept things. And this other girl, Caldonia, who kind of is just quieter. And I'm not going to talk a lot and share everything, but also very, I don't know, outspoken about what she actually cares about. She's this weird mix, and I like her, but she's also kind of distant, and it takes a while to get to know her. Um, and so these kind of end up being Hatter's friends at the end of the book, and who he starts to spend all his time with. And it's cool to see that transition in Hatter from hanging out with the popular kids that maybe aren't behaving the way they should versus hanging out with the misfits and having a lot of the school not like him um, but like people who accept him for who he is and a lot of it's Hatter figuring out who he is also and trying a lot of his school year he is trying to live up to the expectations that are put on him by the teachers and trying to live up to this legacy that his parents and his brother have left him um, but also trying to figure out who he is, and that's like a really hard road for him to walk. And then the big mystery of the school is of the hat box, which is an acronym for Holographic and Transmutative Base of Extreme Combat. Extreme Combat spelled with an X. Um, this is where they learn their training. It's a brand new facility at the school, and it projects holographic sparring partners for them to train against. Um, the sparring partners are supposed to be slightly better than they are so that they are improving themselves because you're only as good as the person you're fighting or training with. Um, 
And it's really cool because it combines imagination and science, which is something that doesn't get done in Wonderland. Um, but there are a few hiccups in this hat box as Hatter and his friends start to realize, and this becomes the whole mystery plot thing of this book is what's going on with the hat box and why and how to stop it. This book has tons and tons of excitement and action. There's lots of combat and fighting with like each other and I love that. It's also very much Wonderland. Like it has these great strange things that happen. Like you can walk between the walls and the teachers and the creatures that they have like have fighting the Jabberwocky. Um, so I like the strange Wonderland elements, but it's also relatable and feels kind of more grounded in our world. I also enjoyed the little tiny turns of phrase in here. That's in there also. The way the Wonderlanders talk or describe things, um, their muchness. And I just like the whole way that the imagination functions within the world and the part it plays and how they can use it, what it can and can't do. And also just seeing how the weapons work because like um, the hat is like a top hat but like if you throw it a certain way it spits out blades and it kind of works like a ninja star or the, when they get older they have this pack that holds their blades and everything and so you can communicate with the weapons through like telepathic uh interlies i guess like you think it and the hat will do it it's so cool um, to see that and to see them training to learn how to do that, to see them how like making the things and learning like the history of Wonderland. And it's so much fun, guys. Like a ton of fun. It did remind me a bit of Harry Potter, which I liked a lot. Like it started to feel like that. Um, it was a lot of fun, is what I'm saying. Like I really. I really enjoyed the series. I want to know what's going on. I definitely want to see the rest of Hatter schooling. Definitely enjoyed Hatter Madigan Ghost in the Hat Box. Um, so check it out. I also really liked the Hatter M graphic novels, which happened between this book and Looking Glass Wars novels. I haven't read those yet. Those are coming. But like, I love this take on Wonderland. It's so awesome. So definitely check it out. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.